like the bluebell is very uh, intimate sounding. So I'm curious what kind of room you were in f for for that record. So that's I'm I'm I know you know this, but I'm saying it for people watching who might not know. So that's that's a record that uh, came out in August 2020. Yeah, uh, the bluebell was uh, a group of songs. That's the one. Uh, they're all solo acoustic lullabies that were recorded uh, in the living room of my parents' house. They live in Virginia. Hmm. Um, and I recorded it on Christmas night, um, in 2019. I just waited, I was there visiting and I waited till everyone went to bed. Oh, and then wow. I set up my recording stuff and, uh, in the living room at about, I guess maybe 2 AM and, uh, and just set up a mic and got a bottle of scotch <laughs> wow. and made that record. Uh, so that was a fun one. Uh, but the reason I wanted to record it there, uh, was because, uh, I liked the idea, um, in the history of the Bronte family, the Emily and Anne were particularly close um, among the siblings. And they had this really special bond of sharing each other's work and like sort of critiquing each other's work. And there was just this real connection there that I feel I wanted to represent with the combination of the songs that were about their various poems. Okay. So the track order alternates going between Anne, Emily, and Emily. Huh. And uh, I wanted to record it in my parents' house because that's where I learned how to play guitar. Um, you know, it's where I, I spent a lot of time with my own siblings, my brother and sister. Hmm. And uh, I wanted to have that intention and that atmosphere written into the music. Uh, so I liked the idea of, you know, going into a quiet room late at night when my family was with me but asleep. And then, you know, recording this music and, and sort of taking all that with me. Uh, for the recording and there's nothing added to that one either um it was kind of tricky too because the heat would kind of come on and off and i had to wait for the um you know the interim periods where it was quiet and there's one song on there actually where the last notes ringing out and the heat comes back on <laughs> and uh but i really liked the take and uh i just wasn't you know uh, that's an i i try not to be precious with things like that i uh you know i could have just done another take when that didn't happen, but I wanted that one. Um, so right. I like the idea of leaving a certain, you know, amount of vulnerability and imperfection in recordings too, especially on acoustic guitar. It's such a, a beautiful, but imperfect instrument. Um, just the, you know, the attack of it, the sounds it makes, the, the tuning is often difficult, you know, responding to, you know, pressures and the you know, air pressure and humidity and all that. Sure. So I, I try not to fight with that and just utilize it and enjoy it. Um, because if, you know, if I wanted to make flawless, you know, perfect, uh, or use a flawless, perfect medium, there's always like MIDI or something, which is, <laughs> which is cool. You know, I, I listen to a lot of that music. I listen right. to a lot of pop music and, and, you know, stuff that uses, uh, you know, electronic instruments instead of wood and steel. But, uh, I think if you are going to use wood and steel, especially now in an age when you have all the options, why not let it be. Yeah. let it be vulnerable that's kind of the fun part yeah oh that's beautiful yeah i'm with you i'm with you on that